Bang Guy. Hey, this is Barry for Aquarium Outfitters and Fish Store, and welcome to Species Spotlight. Today we're going to be talking about the Bangai Cardinal. The Bangai Cardinal lives in the shallow lagoons of the Bangai Islands of Indonesia, but these days most are captive bred. The Bangai Cardinal, also known as Caudern's Cardinal, has a great look and is a very popular aquarium fish. It's really hardy and easy to take care of. They usually hang out in the medium to high regions of the tank. Unfortunately, these guys have been overfished for the aquarium trade and are getting rare in the wild, but there has been great success getting them to breed in captivity, so most of the bang guys in the trade are captive bred, and the captive bred are normally much hardier than their wild caught counterparts. While normally peaceful to other tank mates, they can show aggression to other bang guys in a group if kept in a small tank, especially if two pair off to breed. They may really harass the others. They can be by themselves, or you can keep a paired male and female on a 30 gallon, but you should have a much bigger tank for a big group of bang guys. One thing to keep in mind is that they have those long fins and they're not super fast swimmers, so they can be targets if you have other bullies in the tank. You want to keep them with other relatively peaceful fish. This fish is a carnivore and would do the best on a diet of meaty foods. The minimum recommended tank size for this fish is 30 gallons. So let's go over our checklist. The Bengai Cardinal is an easy care level fish that's normally peaceful to different types of fish and they work well in both reef and fish only tanks. So what's your experience with the Bengai Cardinal? Comment below. And as always, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. There have been reports of the Bengai Cardinal living up to five to seven years in captivity. One night in Bengai.